It's not a march for Martin Luther King Jr. Day this year, but instead a day of service hosted by the Amarillo branch of the NAACP. KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has details in tonight's Heart of the High Plains. This Martin Luther King Jr. Day was about action for the Amarillo community. And we were looking forward to the march, but we got even more excited when we realized it was going to be a day of service. Um, we think that it's great. We believe that Martin Luther King would want us to give back to the community because that's what he did. The day of service started with a community cleanup. More than 150 volunteers showed up to help as they started at the Warford Activity Center. After the cleanup, community members shared a hot meal and more than 30 vendors displayed social services available to the community. And finally, a community meeting to address concerns for the people living in the 79107. Melody Graves, the co-chair of today's event, says meeting the needs of the community falls right in line with Dr. King's mission. I think at a time right now when uh, we have so many issues as an African American community that people need to understand what Dr. King stood for. Um, it's important to know where you came from. That's the only way to know where you can go. City and county leaders and candidates for public office were in attendance to hear from the community about what matters to them. This is a day of action, and it's time for elected officials to actually serve those they are elected to represent. Uh, having this event is important because it, it provides that connection, and you can put a face with a name, you can perhaps bridge that divide even if it's an invisible one that exists between the voter, or the citizen, and their elected official. For Mildred Darton, the president of the North Heights Advisory Association, it's about hope, but also the history of the civil rights movement. We know the dreams still live, even though some of the older people now are sleep the long sleep. And we need to continue telling the story to the ones that's coming behind, because they need to know that we don't only stand on shoulders, we stand on headstones. Some of the issues discussed at today's community meeting include the future of Amarillo policing without Chief Ed Drain, fencing and security at schools in AISD, and of course, how to keep fighting for Dr. King's dream. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Kaylee, thank you. NAACP officials say they might go back to having a Martin Luther King Jr. Day march in the future, but they want to focus on pressing issues in the community first.